Hi, this is Megan Poff, and I'm the field office chief at the USGS in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'll be talking briefly about how to record a flume measurement in SWAMI. Here in Nevada, we use a couple of different modified portable partial flumes for measuring low flows at sites where we want a high degree of accuracy. Please refer to your individual Water Science Center's QA plan for your specific flume procedures. Set up your flume in the channel first, making sure all flow is directed into the flume and the exit is clear and free-flowing. Once your flume is ready and flow through the flume has stabilized, select the Discharge Measurement button in SWAMI, and then select New Channel to begin. Give your channel a name. Next, click or tap on the drop-down box next to QM Method and select Flume. You'll notice that the deployment method of Other has been automatically selected for you when you chose Flume as your measurement method. Click Measure at the bottom right of the screen. In the main Flume measurement screen that appears, you will see blue lettering for Time and a space for Head. Remember, Flume measurements are made by measuring the head in the flume at a specified location in the converging section of the flume after the flow has stabilized. Your flume should have the measuring point marked. It is recommended to make multiple measurements, and in this instance I will make six at 30 second intervals. Click on the blue time text and the current time is filled in, rounded to the nearest minute. Alternatively, you can click on the calculator button next to the time box and use the now button which will fill in the current time to the second and then click Done. Measure your head in the flume at the measuring location and record that value in the head box. You can either click in the box and type in the value, or you can click the calculator button next to the head box, click the numbers for the value, and then click Done. Click the Add button to add your first head measurement to the list below. Continue measuring the head in the flume and adding each measurement until you have reached your target number of head readings. I now have six heads entered and will now have Swami determine my mean head for the measurement. I'm going to use every head that reads 0 0.18 and exclude the one that reads 0 0.88 by checking the checkboxes next to every 0 0.18 measurement. You will notice SWAMI has now calculated a mean head for the measurement at the bottom of the screen. You will enter this value into your flume rating equation to determine the correlated flow. This 1 inch partial flume has a rating of 0.403H to the 1.688, which corresponds to a discharge of 0.022 CFS when I do the math. Be sure that you are using the specific rating for the flume you are using. HIF often stamps the rating on the side of the flumes they sell. Fill in the discharge either by clicking in the correlated flow box and typing 0 0.022 or by clicking the calculator next to the correlated flow box and clicking on the numbers. Click Done to finish the flume measurement. Swami will ask you if you want to end the measurement. Click Yes. You can now use the drop-down boxes to fill out your channel characteristics. I'm measuring at the gauge at this site, which, when I select that, automatically fills in the section distance of zero in the next box. Horizontal flow is even. The channel conditions were gravel, firm, and uneven. For velocity description, I'm going to say that my vertical distribution is unknown since we measured the entire volume of flow with the flume. The flow entering the flume was steady, so I will select steady for the velocity distribution. Click Done when you are satisfied with your channel characteristics. Click Done again to return to the main discharge measurement screen. You are now back at the main discharge measurement screen. Fill in the measurement gauge height in the gauge height box, either by typing in the box or by using the calculator next to the box, and you will see this measurement's percent difference from the rating. As you can see, this measurement was 4.8% off of the stage discharge rating at the station. Keep in mind this is not associated with the portable flume rating. If there were a shift in place at this site, the shifted queue would be different than the unshifted queue. Click Done. Swami will ask if you want to end the discharge measurement. Assuming you have no more channels to add or subtract to this measurement, click Yes. You are now at the measurement summary screen. 
Fill out each box. If you don't have the measurement number on hand, click the Auto Sequence box to have Site Visit automatically iterate the measurement for you. When you get to the blue start time, just click on the blue text and your start time from the flume measurement will get filled in for you. Do the same for the end time. In the remarks section, it is important to note any head measurements that you did not include in Y, as well as the serial number of your flume, the type of flume, and the flume equation so your work can be checked. When you are satisfied with the measurement summary screen, click Done. In the next screen, you have the option of doing a check measurement by clicking New Measurement at the top of the screen, or you may simply click Done to finish measuring. Since this measurement plotted within 4.8% of the rating, no check measurement is necessary. Click Done. You have now completed a flume measurement in SWAMI. If you have questions on completing a flume measurement in SWAMI, please contact the SWAMI Help Group at the email address shown or visit the FCIS webpage at the address shown.